Welcome to your week ahead forecast for the last full week of meteorological summer. To start the week, at least the weather's fairly straightforward, a, a fairly typical situation with high pressure dominating across the south and low pressure further north. The low is pushing away that area of high pressure, quite a few isobars around it as well. So quite a blustery start to Tuesday with the low generating quite a lot of clouds and also some showery outbreaks of rain. So quite a wet start across northern England, north Wales, Scotland and Northern Ireland. So we'll see the rain breaking up and just turning into a few scattered showers by the afternoon. So the weather will turn a bit brighter. The winds will ease, feeling a bit warmer by the afternoon. But the highest temperatures will be across the south, where after any early morning mist and fog clears away, we should see some lengthy spells of sunshine and temperatures in the southeast, East Anglia, getting up to the uh, mid-20s, 27 Celsius is possible. A cooler day further north with more clouds and a fairly brisk breeze. Temperatures closer to average high teens, low 20s is here. Now, by the time we get to uh, Wednesday, it's still the same situation, but that low is tending to ease away. There are a couple of weather fronts to keep an eye on, one tracking up from the southwest. That's likely to generate a bit more cloud and maybe one or two scattered showers over Wales, perhaps the Midlands, and later on, maybe into Northern Ireland. We'll see a few more showers return on Wednesday to the northwest of Scotland as well, perhaps even one or two heavy ones. But for a good chunk of the country, uh, certainly across much of the eastern side, it'll be a dry day and many places we'll see some sun sunshine, particularly in the south with the warm air still in place, temperatures getting up to, again, the mid, maybe even high 20s in one or two locations, whereas we're closer again to 19 or 20 Celsius further north. Things get complicated after Wednesday and there's uh, increasing uh, amount of uncertainty after that as well. What could happen is this area of high pressure that's been dominating the south starts to pull away and it's replaced by an area of low pressure coming up from the south. Now this is also likely to be tapping into some pretty warm Warm air across the continent. The combination of low pressure and warm air could spark some heavy and thundery showers. But this is only what's called an outlier at the moment. This is not likely to happen. It's not the most likely scenario. If we look at other computer models, the European one, for example, it's generating some warmth across the south during Thursday, but it keeps the low pressure to the north as the dominant feature. And that warmer air, although briefly pushing northwards, tends to get pushed away by the time we get to Friday. Compare that to the Met Office model that does generate this low to the south, tapping into warmer air across the far south uh, during Thursday, pushing northwards and generating potentially some quite heavy downpours that could still be around in this warmer air across eastern areas on Friday. But as I said, this is the least likely scenario at this stage. And we know that because we don't just look at one or two computer model runs, we run them many, many times and they generate lots of different scenarios. Scenarios. And this is the European, what we call postage stamps, when the model is run 50 times. And there aren't any of these that are generating the similar scenario that the Met Office computer model is generating. If we look closer on, there are some that have some warmer air in place, but they don't have that same setup. And the American computer model is very similar as well, with none of these scenarios uh, generating something similar to the Met Office model. That's why we think the Met Office model at the moment is a bit of an outlier and is not likely to happen. It could happen, of course, and things will become clearer over the next day or so. But at the moment, the most likely scenario for the end of the week is that we keep the cooler air in place with a mixture of sunny spells and showers. Now, as we go towards the weekend, of course, which is a bank holiday for many, but not in Scotland, we will, of course, continue to keep you updated as things progress over the next few days. You can, of course, keep up to date yourself by making sure you're following the Met Office right across social media.